shop I'm Mike and this is round two woodworks uh, last video we were working on this fly tying station so it's time to get back on it I'm going today I'm going to uh, border it in walnut drill the holes for the tools sand it stain it and finish it hopefully now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all tonight because it's uh, 5 o'clock already. But So I doubt I'll get it done tonight, but I'll get it done in this video, that's for sure. Um, so the first thing we need to do is cut the walnut pieces and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we need two pieces 14 and a half, one piece 18 inches. Anybody want ice cream? The ice cream's man here and he's playing Christmas music. And it's February.
get these over, a little over on the back. This will clamp for my uh, mirror or my uh, magnifying glass and light. And this will clamp up here for my vise. So that should work out all right. For all you lucky lovers out there, this is the night for you. Full moon, this is a parking night. Yes, sir. That's a beauty. Alrighty. We've got the walnut border around. I just rounded off the ends, maybe for more aesthetic reasons, but... Uh, because the uh, the center one had to stick out to hold the vise and the uh, magnifying glass. Then I put a lip around uh, the base in case something falls. Uh, it won't go on the floor. So let's uh, sand this thing. that'll be good and I think this is 180 no this is 220 that'll be good shop. New days are always good. So what I, I've been doing earlier is I'm uh, drilling the holes for the tools. In other words, the tools will be sitting around the border on this thing. So uh, I've got a few more holes to make, a little more sanding to do than that needs to be stained and uh, finished, and we're ready to tie some flies. So let's get on this thing. All righty, each uh, each tool requires a little different size hole, so there's like four different drill bits I've got to use on this. trying to do is make the holes into uh, in the order of what I think I'll use there's my larger scissors they'll go there 
then uh, my hemostats or whatever you call them will go there and uh, now I've got to change this for a different size bit just keep on moving down the line. We're wet. We're starting to see the end, of the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm going to uh, stain the inside using this system. that's as good as it's going to get. We'll wipe it down and let it dry. YouTube. Looks like another project is complete and put in the books and ready for use. I'm not too displeased on how it came out considering I just pieced it together. There's walnut, different kinds of walnut, different kinds of plywood, poplar, and who knows what else. But uh, I think it'll work for my purposes. Time flies. I, I'm, I'm no expert by, by no means, but I do enjoy it. Thanks to my grandfather. My uh, grandfather, my dad gave these to me. My grandfather tied these flies way back in the 40s and 50s. Dad gave them to me. I've never used one of them because grandpa... Uh, tied them but you know I uh, I'm ready to go with this thing let, let me give you a little closer up picture and and show you what exactly what I did all right let's take a close-up look at this on the center stringer in the back there is um, the magnifying glass and light and then up front, of course, is the the vise, the fly vise. Now the fly vise is uh, they can go anywhere from nineteen dollars to four hundred nineteen dollars and more. 
since I'm not a professional fly tire, I don't need a $400 vise. This one, I believe, was in the 40s or $50 bracket range, and that's good enough for me. Now, in the um, this this box is empty. I haven't got anything in it yet, but all these boxes, like I'm starting this one here. Uh, it's got some paint, some extra glue, some head glue, some beads, uh, that kind of stuff. Over here, I've got some fish hooks. I need to get some more. I put the labels in them so I know exactly what size. I'm not experienced enough to know, well, that's a 14. But uh, I do need some more uh, hooks. Then down here we've got uh, feathers and peacock hurl and uh, all the other things for uh, tying, dubbing, and things like that. So, moving right along, over here we've got a, a large scissors, we've got the small scissors, we've got the thread bobbin, We've got the hemostat that can clip together. We've got the uh, a hackle pliers that ties the feathers or whatever around the, the hook. We have the whip that, that ties your line off when you're done tying. We've got the bobbin threader. Stick that through the bobbin put the thread through and pull it out. We've got uh, tweezers. Got actually five different kinds of tweezers. Uh, I don't need five, but uh, <laughs> they came in a five, or actually it's six. And they came in a, a packet from Harbor Freight, so I just used them all. I want to get some more bobbins and things, so as I replace other tools, and, I, I don't need the tools. I will take those out and replace it with uh, tools that I do need. Then I've got the uh, bodkins. Really, it's just needles. But uh, again, I've got five. Won't need five, but they're there in case. Then on the other side of the workstation, we have got in the back... I've got uh, three different size paint brushes. Again, I've got five different kinds of pliers. They were in a set. I also got these from Harbor Freight. And then uh, some super glue. Always need super glue. And that's basically the uh, the overall fly tying workstation didn't cost a lot but I think it'll do the job I mean t fly tying is really no rocket science believe me uh, the fly the tying the flies is actually simple to fly fishing fly fishing you gotta you gotta know the difference between wet flies and dry flies and you, you've got to know what the hatch is and there's a million things to know you got to know how to cast right and get your fly out there without scaring the fish and it takes a lot of practice uh, something that I'm out of touch with so I'm gonna to have to get my fly rod and go over to the park and and uh, do a little practicing I don't think I'll ever be as good as my grandfather he could he could lay a fly in a bucket 30 yards away it was amazing how good he was but uh, it's something to shoot at because uh, fishing is especially in my opinion fly fishing is the best kind of fishing there is so that's that's the close-up look so that's it for this project YouTube and I I appreciate you stopping by I really really do I'm not sure what the next project will be but I'll be thinking about it as soon as I turn this camera off 
So until next time, I wish you well, I wish you happiness, and we'll, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Thank you.